here to discuss ways and means of bringing outside money into Hooterville. So I now turn this meeting over to the chairman of our bringing outside money in committee, uh, Mr. Haney. Thank you, thank you. Oh, before I get to my report, I would like to present to our new member, Mr. Douglas, this genuine silver-plated chamber belt buckle. Oh, say, thank you very much. That'll be five dollars. <laughs> five dollars? Now, of course, you'll also want the matching two-dollar tie clasp with the chamber seal on it. No, I don't. Well, how about the uh, chamber nail file with a three-color picture of Hooterville on the handle? <laughs> Maybe you can sell him the official paraphernalia later. Get on with your report. Well, as you remember, at the last meeting, several suggestions was made for uh, bringing uh, new enterprise into Hooterville. Now, I regret to report on the first one I struck out completely. Which one was that? The Hooterville World's Fair. <laughs> oh, come on, I thought sure the world would go for that. <laughs> so did I. I wrote to eight different countries and never got an answer from one of them. <laughs> did you fellas seriously think you could get a World's Fair to come here to Hooterville? Mr. Douglas, you got a belt buckle? No. Well, then would you sit down? <laughs> Sorry, no speeches without a belt buckle. <laughs> Now, uh, having had no success with the first suggestion of the Hooterville World's Fair, I proceeded to act on the second suggestion of the chamber. Well, do you have any luck? No, we ain't getting the Olympics either. <laughs> <laughs> the Olympics? Look, the, the, the World's Fair was ridiculous enough, but the Olympics... If you're serious about raising money... Uh, Mr. Douglas, if you want the floor, just wave your official tie clasp. I don't have an official tie clasp. Then sit down. 